Hello. Today we're going to look at how to add a baseline percent complete column in the Microsoft Project Schedule. And we'll take it a step further by, sh by showing you how to roll up this percent complete, um, base this baseline percent complete. By default, Microsoft Project does not come with a percent complete column. But like with everything else in Microsoft Project, there's, there's a workaround. The, the software comes with so much flexibility that you can virtually do anything that's not straight out of the box. So today we're going to use custom fields to show, um, to display a baseline percent complete column. For users of Primavera P6 who who are, who, who are new to Microsoft Project, you'll be surprised that there's no percent complete column, baseline percent complete column like you have in Primavera P6, which is called the Schedule Percent Complete Column. But not to worry, we'll find a way around it. So assuming we have this schedule, it's baselined. Um, you can see that there's a baseline, there's a baseline set. And I've added this column, so the current, the live, um, the activity percent complete is there. You've got your duration, start, finish, your baseline start, baseline finish. So to add, to add the baseline percent complete, we're going to use two custom fields. One, a number field, and then a text field. I could have gone with the text field from the start, but because I want to do a weighted roll-up, that won't work with the text field because this text field can only use formulas. You can't really do a roll up with, with text field. So what I'm going to do is do the calculation in a number field and then convert it to a text later to a string so that I can add the, the percentage sign to it. So first of all, I'll add a number field. So if I go for number one, so expand this. So what I want now is this is a custom field to format it and then I need a formula for this maybe we name this so um, what would I call it baseline percent calc okay just do percent calculation because it's not going to be our it's not going to be the final field we display so I'll just call this percent calculation I need a formula and for this formula I'm going to check if so um the way we calculate it, it's just the same way Microsoft project calculates percent complete for for current activities so Assuming this is a task, if it's not started, it's zero percent. If it's if your status bar is here or your current date is before the start of this task, it's zero percent complete. If it's after this task, it's hundred percent complete. So in between, how do you calculate the percent complete in between? You take the duration up to at a point in time, your time now, which is either your status date or your current date, divide it over the total duration of the task, multiply by 100, and that gives you a percent complete. So basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to check if the start of the task is before the status date or the current date, or if it's after, or it's in it started before the, the, the before our time now. So what I need is an if statement. So I go to function general, go for if. I replace the ex expression with. So what I'm checking is if the I'm doing I'm using status date for this tutorial. But if you don't use status date in your schedule. You, you can replace it with current date. That works too, so that you, your comparison will be against the current date, but I prefer to use status date. So if I go project date, status date, 
is less than so I'm checking to see if it's less than the baseline date baseline start date so I go for baseline start so if the status date is before the baseline start date for a task it should be zero percent it's not started it shouldn't have started so it's zero percent and the false part so for now I'll just leave this in double quotes so that'll show you so you see that the formula works so it's zero percent but we've got errors where it should have started you can see this our status line so we go back go to our formula so we place these empty strings that are added with a new if statement so this time I want to check if it's after if the status date is after the, the finish date of a task so we go replace the expression with status date if it's greater than the baseline finish and if it's greater then it's 100 percent and 100 percent it's that is one so you replace the true part of this with one so for the false part again let's have this in empty strings let's some empty strings so that I'll show you you see what's happened you see so the ones that should have been completed by now it should come up as one which is what we want so we've got error message for the ones that are ongoing that should have been ongoing so now we'll get to that to, to, for activities that are in progress that should have been in progress or should have been ongoing the calculus so this is something like this so this is the calculation we need to do so we have to tell Microsoft project to do this calculation for baseline task so and to do that we need um, we need one of the functions for calculating date difference which comes in my so one of we're going to use um, so we use we're going to use the project date difference and what this does is returns the duration between Two dates in minutes so you've got the first variant which is date one and the second variance and then there's an optional parameter also which is a calendar which is a string so so we're going to use the, the date project date difference so if I go a function it's a date function so looking for project date difference now add it so date one so if we go back to okay sorry if it's nothing there to see so date one should be the earlier date of the two and so if an activity is in progress should have been in progress it means the baseline start date is before the status date so the baseline start date should be date one so we go for baseline start and date two because we're comparing against the status date will be the will be the status date now calendar like they say here it's optional and if a calendar is not specified the default for the current resource is the resource calendar or for the current tasks the task calendar or the standard calendar if no tax calendar now so what is it saying this is optional so we don't need this so what will happen is project we use if there's a calendar at, assigned to a task project we use that calendar for the calculation but if there's no calendar assigned to it it will use the project calendar for the calculation so this so we've done date difference compared to status dates and that's this part of the calculation we've done that now so the x so we need the y so for the y i come back here i put my you put your division divide by which means we need another date difference 
So the so this time our Y is baseline start to baseline finish. So we do our date one. Will be the baseline start. Our date two. Be the baseline finish again we do not need the calendar since it's optional so we're going to do without the calendar now if you say okay to this as you can see it's done the calculation so you got 0 0.2 0 0.2 Zero 0.2, which is like 2%, this is like 1%, 2%. So that's, so you've done the calculation. So now to display the percent complete, we need, um, we need another column. So this time we'll go for text column so that we can add the percent complete sign. So text one is in use, text two is in use. So I'll go for text three. Go back to my formula, rename this baseline percent. Now, because the calculation was done in a number field, what I need to do is, and to display it in a text field, I need to do a conversion, just like integer to do it, like an integer. But if I use, so let me use an integer field. So if you go, int number we use number one field for our calculation custom field number base number one uh, okay yeah number one baseline percent calculation now for our calculation remember we said times 100 so we're going to do the times 100 here now so we'll do times 100 and concatenate the percent complete sign the percentage sign yep it prompted that we use any existing data that's fine with me okay now you see it's added the percent complete sign but you notice something this is 0 0.02 you expect it to be two percent but it's shown as one percent and I, I think i have a feeling this is like 1.67 percent but we don't want to show decimal places that's why we're using the int but the problem with int is that it doesn't round up so we need another another function that will do the rounding for us so if we look if we check the c int function we coerce an expression to data type integer which is what we want and it says that fractions are rounded which is what also what we want. So we use the C int instead of the int. So we go back to our formula and change this to C int. Or I don't put C int. Or let's let me just show you. you. Go to conversion. You see C int. Replace our ex expression with number one multiply by 100 and concatenate with the percent sign voila so this gives us our two percent one percent two percent we have all the percentage we did but you notice something here the summary tasks don't have percent assigned against them so to to solve that we go back to the number column click on formula sorry so number column so we come we come here we can say we can say use formula okay so i'm going to show you use formula this is the first one and it adds does a calculation there we come back to this field 
we also ask the base to use a formula and now we have a formula in the summary now for some this works fine so if you but for me uh, this doesn't so you see I'll show you if you see I've got this set of dummy dummy tasks it's showing the what's it called it's showing that the plan should be 59% complete but our status date is the is the 20th of March and only two of the three activities should have been completed and it's, this is shown as 25% complete so why is why is this showing us 59 and this is because it's using the formula we have here which is based on the duration of the tasks and because Microsoft project tweets tasks a uh, summary task as a as a task itself is still doing this calculation x over y times 100 but we that's not what we want because if you see here it's not a continuous task so this is dummy one from 1st of january to 7th dummy 2 8 to 14th and then nothing happens till the 2nd of april nothing will happen till the 2nd of april so what's what is doing is it's calculating this duration divided by the overall duration and that's why it's giving us 59 that's not what we want. We actually want 25% here because this is on track. So let's try something else. Let's try average. If the formula is not working, we do a roll up. We go for average. And it's giving us 67 again, which is not what we want. So what's happening here is the average, what it does is takes the number of tasks under a summary and Based on their um, percent complete status, does the division. So two, are, so you say two over three here will give you 0.67, which is your 67 percent. That's still not what we want. So to get this 25 percent, what we're thinking of doing is, you know, this calculation here. We've done the calculation. We find a way to roll up the calculation so we sum it up, and then we sum up the what we want to do is sum up the total the duration up to, up to status date or, or current date divided by the total duration so we need, find, we need to find a way to sum up all the duration up to current date up to status date sorry up to status date and also sum up all the duration of activity of task on that summary so to do that we need to introduce helper columns so I'm going to need three helper columns. Um, and I'm, so the first one will be will be a number column. I'll use number two, and I'm going to call this helper one. Helper one, okay. basically what helper one we do is for all just calculate the duration up to up to the status date and to do that since we we use a formula and that will be our number one already holds the percent complete which is a function of the baseline duration so we say number one the calculation times the baseline duration okay now this high number you see this comes up as 14,400 it's in the calculation is done in minutes so so you, this this would be like to get back to 40 days, you do 14,400 divided by 60, then divide by eight, which is my the hours in my calendar. That will give you the days. So we've got helper one, okay? So we've got the duration up to time now. So for, for this, we've got the duration up to this point for the task. So this one, 
this is showing 96 um, 9600 minutes up to time now so that's fine create a second helper cell we use number three field We name this helper two. And this time the formula will just be we just need the baseline duration. Again, this is minutes. But if you notice in the summary for summary task they're still still change zero. So if we go back to this for some way, I want to sum, I guess I want to add them up. So sum up all the tasks below a summary. That'll give you their duration. And for same for the for this helper too, I also want to sum up. So you click on roll up, roll up you use sum. So I've got the sum now. So what this is, I've got the total duration of activity of task under this summary up to time now, up to the status date or current date, if you're using current date, which is shown as 4,800 hours, 4,800 minutes. And also the total duration of, of, of task under this summary come up as 19,200 minutes. Now, I need a third helper cell. Just bear with me. Number. Uh, no, so I click this number. So I go for number four. So we name this helper three. So what I'm going to do is this calculation Z. So it might be, so this is a calculation. So we'll do X over Y. So helper one is X, helper two is Y. So helper three will be Z. I know you'll be wondering why are we doing that since it's the same thing we have in in the baseline percent complete uh, percent calc column. These helper cells are just specifically for summary task. So here we're going to do that division. We need a formula. So we're going to say helper two, helper one. Divide by helper two. Okay, and for roll up, we're not doing, we're not going to do sum up this time because it's, because this formula will work for us for our summary. So this formula, because we've already rolled up for the task in between. So we've rolled up um, helper one and helper two. So we go, we use formula this time. And it, you see, it works. So here we have 0 0.25, which is what we're looking for. Now, but this has introduced another problem. For milestones which have zero durations, because we're doing divide by zero, it's thrown up an error. So let's solve that before we move forward. I can cut this and say, if if helper two, is equal to zero, then the true part is just show zero there. But if it's not, so basically if it's not a milestone, do the calculation. And you see that it's gotten rid of the error messages. So now that we have 0 0.25, which we're looking for, we can hide helper one and helper two cells, just hide them for now. Then for, come back to so you see you see that for task baseline percent calc figure is the same as helper three figures but for summary tasks they're different so basically you can also hide this baseline percent calc column so that leaves us with helper three and the baseline percent so come to baseline percent go back to our formula so this time we change the formula 
the conversion this time will be for our new the helper three, not the baseline percent calc. So we'll go to go to number custom field and pick helper three. Okay. And you see, so now you have the right percentage, you have twenty five percent, which is what we're looking for. You will notice that while we've solved uh, we've solved the problem of baseline percent complete for summary task, we still have a problem with the milestone. So the milestone has a baseline date of first of January. So it should have been it should be showing hundred percent complete. Too. It's not. So we go back to our formula for helper three. So this is the problem. So what we do, you cut this. Um, we go with a new if statement. So what we're saying is, oh, oh no, we we'll go back to our formula. You copy this formula. Now, after this helper, this number three equal to zero, introduce a space, say and, and now we're going to say if the duration is zero, that's a milestone and the baseline start date, the baseline finish date, the status date is greater than the baseline finish date. That is the baseline date has passed. So status date greater than baseline finish date. So, so we're saying this miles, if the milestone date has passed, it should be hundred percent complete. So that's number th this number three equals to zero. That's if it's a milestone. And uh, this formula now will check if the milestone date has passed. That should be hundred percent. But if it's if it's not, then the formula that we copied, the earlier formula that we copied, we now delete this last part of the if statement and paste that formula. That's the if. This is still if it's still zero if the base is still a milestone where the date has not passed show zero but if it's not a milestone then do the normal calculation helper helper one and divide by helper two so you see now this milestone now has the right percent baseline percent complete of 100 percent so which means we can now hide this column as we don't need it anymore and then there you go you have your schedule with all the right baseline percent complete. So I hope you find this useful. And like I said, if you if you don't use if you're not using a status date field, you're only using current date field. Anywhere in the formula, the different formulas I've used that status date and status date appears, you can change it to current date. That should work for you. Um, any questions? Just pop a comment in the, in the comment field below the video or send us an email to the, through the website and we'll get back to you. Thanks very much. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to help grow the channel and see you next time with when we come up with another video, another tutorial on either Microsoft Project, Excel or Primavera P6. Cheers. Mm -hmm.